You see, I can't survive on my own. I think the one thing we never stop looking for is acceptance. I challenge anyone to survive being an intern without having a close group of friends to lean on. And on days like that, I guess the best you can hope for is that you took something from it. Even if it's just taking the time to lie in the grass and think about all the things you still have left to do. It, I know it sounds melodramatic, but in my mind, as I watched the two of them, they weren't battling for patience or insurance. They were battling for my soul, and it made me realize that every ending leads to new complications. But maybe it's not about being the best. Maybe it's about finding the little things that get you through the day. It's funny how our perceptions can be so off. I guess what they say is true. The people you work with really do become your family. Sometimes the only way to take a really good look at yourself is through someone else's eyes. So I guess Turk was right after all. Miracles do happen. Because the truth is, every time you take a big risk in your life, no matter how it ends up, you're always glad you took it. I guess the key to a lot of things is balance. The speech always sounds the same no matter whose mouth it comes out of. Even if it's someone you thought you could really like. <laughs> things that wouldn't have bothered you a week ago in a friendship become so incredibly important when sex is involved. I think everyone has their own way of releasing all the stuff that gets bottled up inside them. I think a lot of us get freaked out when med students come because it feels like being forced to accept new people into your family. I guess there's good and bad in all of us. And maybe the truth is, he's just a middle-aged, lonely guy struggling to get by. And it sure would be nice if someone would give him a break once in a while. And sometimes you have to admit that feeling competitive isn't a bad thing. Because if you truly believe you're right, you have to be willing to fight for it. You know, when you start med school, they warn you that you're going to have to make sacrifices. It was weird how everyone had come to see Ben off. Everybody? After all, he'd only been here one day, and there wasn't even anything wrong with him. Still, that's not what this story's about. It's about the day I realized that admitting we're not heroic is when we're the most heroic of all. It's been a long year, but the important thing is we all got through it together. We were a family.